Hi there guys, um, today I'm very excited to um, show you this cool coin game that I created. Um, I first thought this idea a couple months back and I was just sat at the kitchen table with nothing to do, just feeling bored when I was this big pot of um, coins next to me and I was just fiddling with them and um, these coins were basically just year, a few euros, cents, lots and lots of 1p and 2p coins, just yeah those. And um, I was fiddling with these when I came up with the idea of this cool game. I thought, hey, I wonder if anyone will like this. So I showed it to quite a few of my friends, and they really liked the game too. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna show it to you guys, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, first, I need some coins. Yeah, first need some coins. Um, no, nothing in there. Angry bird here. Nothing in there either. Um, this robot. Aha. There's a lot of coins in here. Well, let's open it. There we go. Okay, so here you'll see, here's all my coins that I've got. Um, uh, as you can see, I've got a ton of 50p coins here, and that is all 29 Olympic 50ps from 2012. And it's unbelievable to see that I've managed to resist spending £14.50 for three years. Yeah, it's, I just like these, they're very rare, that's why. But for this game, they're completely useless because they all have the, the exact same date, so they're going to be useless for this game. So, uh, I, so we've got to do it with um, coins like these. So, I like I live in England and these euros and cents are useless to me. Where, unless I'm on holiday, but here's a good use for them, and I've also got a couple of English coins as well. So basically, you need um, each player has to have um, five coins each. So let's have that, or it doesn't matter. the The limit can go up to whatever you like. And we have two players here. We have a judge and a gingerbread man, and here's their five coins. All the coins must be, um, their date must be face down, so whichever side the date's on, it must be face down. And um, yeah, each player must have the same amount of coins. And the players can go from a minimum of two players to a maximum of however many players you want. Just, just as long as you have enough coins, that's all. So you can decide who goes first, and this guy puts his coin there, and this guy puts his coin there. Everyone puts theirs in the middle. Every player puts their coin in the middle, and once everyone's had their turn, they flip over their coin to view the date. And so this Euro coin here, the gingerbread man's coin, the date says 2007. And um, for and for the score, that is you count the last two digits of the date. So 07 is the score for this one. And then this coin's date is the year 2000. And that, yeah, that's a score of zero points. The last two dates, zero points. That's probably the worst you can go with that one. So this gingerbread man wins his coin back and puts it in his um, winner's uh, amount. And the judge's coins removed from the game. And you just keep going to run out of coins like this 50p here from him and um, this coin here. And you flip it over. The um, the gingerbread man's coin is 2011. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an Olympic 50p. And then the judge's coin is 2004. So gingerbread man's score is 11, and the judge's score is 4. So yep, the winner, the winning coin goes to the gingerbread man, and his coin is removed from the game. And then you go again, use up the rest of your coins like so. Um, uh, the gingerbread man's coin is 2001. That sounds low. And um, the judge's score is 2013. So 13 for the judge, one for um, the gingerbread man. So the winning coin goes to the judge. And yes, the gingerbread man coin is removed from the game. And you just go so on, so on until you run out of coins. And so this one, 2001 and 2002, that says. This one wins the point, this one loses it, and so on. And they use 
their final coins, put them in the middle, flip them over, and you'll see that the year of this one is 2002, and this one's 2004, so he wins his, and this one's removed from the game. Finally, once everyone's used up all their coins, which they all will at the same time, you look at all the winning coins you've had. So this is how many the uh, the uh, gingerbread man has scored, and this is how many the judges scored. And the one with the most coins at the end of the game wins. And um, that is the gingerbread man. So the gingerbread man is the winner, and that's how you play the game. In some coins, they have two dates on them. For instance, this one has uh, 1704 to 2004. Just use the latest date. Just pick the latest date if there's multiple dates on the coin. And um, that's how you play it. So I hope. So I really hope you enjoyed this this um, uh, game that I created. Also note that once, if you want to play the game again, you should use different coins unless you have a very bad memory, because you'll remember what the dates are for the coins. So it's best worth it to use different ones and um, yeah so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one